Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel. Real quick, man. Let me go over with y'all uh, the machine I was talking about that we're using for the new Freon. Uh, like I say, it's R1234YL. Okay, this is the high tech, high dollar machine we use, and it is a monster, right? It can take some time up to between one hour and three hours to run in automatic mode where you do all your settings, you run your settings, and you just leave it. What it does, it will pull out all the Freon, if any. It's going to make sure there's none any. It will pull it out, then run on the vacuum, <laughs> then fill it back up, and then run it, remove the Freon again, and check it for leaks. And it, will, it does verify leaks, okay? So, in other words, in a nutshell, if you pass automatic mode, there is no leaks. The AC system is fully functional, meaning there's no leaks. Okay, because it tries three times to verify if there's a leak. Now, I got a course coming up, uh, uh, AC update course that we're going to go over this machine. I think I've had the course a while back, but uh, I need a refresher course. Okay, and uh, because I need to know exactly, you know, what's going on with the machine. Because the Freon is so expensive, uh, they're starting to charge the text for, uh, you know, adding or incorrect readings and incorrect they want to know how much freon you use of course you get that off of the label now this machine is so advanced you get out the amount of freon off right here this machine is so advanced you take um the infrared and uh you can go to the car in this case you can hook up to the data link connector as you can see the data link connector is here and it will pull the information off the car and in some cases install the data on its own and uh base that data off its input and run in automatic mode that way but next week i got a course on it and i will learn everything about it this is one course i can't wait to take i'm very highly interested in it now it's nothing new it's been out a while it's just i'm just getting exposed to the machine it seems like all the ac system I, or ac repairs i've been doing is on the 134 system but you have to stay up to date, man. That's why mechanics are just like doctors. You, you're never curing. It's always something new changing and something new going on. And I need to know these things. All right? If I'm going to call myself top of the line, Chrysler guy, Chrysler Jeep Dodge guy, I need to know everything about it. So that's my opinion. All right? So that's pretty much uh, uh, we're doing this Jeep Wrangler right now. No AC in it. So we figure out nobody wants to ride around with no AC anymore, all right? So there you have it, man. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.